Hello, my name is Krista and I want to welcome you to my channel, live.love.learn. Oh, okay. So basically, you guys are watching this video because one, you either have a lace closure in your head or a silk base. Two, you're probably thinking about getting a lace or silk base closure. Three, you're probably in support of my channel and you want to, you know, just help me keep growing. And four, other... So if you guys fall into any of those categories, you guys are perfect candidates for this video. So basically with lace closure, with silk base closures, the main problems that I had, that I had with them was that, is it going to lay flat on my head? Like are people going to believe that they, this is real or are they just going to know that it's a, a unit or a wig or something that, you know, I just threw on my head and two blending it with my real hair. I was thinking, you know, how am I going to blend this with my real hair? Like, everybody's going to know. Everybody is going to know about my little secret. Everybody's going to know. Everybody's just going to say, ha, 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 Crystal, we know that your hair doesn't blend. And I really did not want that to happen. And that is why I even de delayed the fact on getting a lace closure for so long. So, um, I had to put on my big girl pants and suck it up. And I really wanted to try lace closure. Actually, I really needed to try a lace closure because it was really damaging my hair and I just want it better for my hair truthfully so I just thought of you know let me just get this lace closure so after I researched research or research about lace closures how to blend it how to make it flat and threw my own sugar and spice into the formula I have the formula I have the trick I have it I have it I have it I have it have it I have it I have it I have it. Mm -hmm. I have it, y'all. I have it. So, shh. Let's keep this our little secret. I'm just trying to help y'all out. But, you know, I don't want everybody else to know. So, this is just between me and you. Don't be scared. Auntie Crystal is here to help. <laughs> y'all, I'm so sorry. I am just, I'm just so happy to be making this video. But, Crystal is here to help you guys out. So, breathe in. Breathe out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like and you took something from it, share it, comment, put a thumbs up, and subscribe so you won't miss any of these great videos. So um, I hope you guys have a blessed day and may God bless you. Okay, so I have just put my wig on and I'm really trying to spend a lot of time trying to get the natural part. It's really important that you get the natural part because you don't want to do all this all the steps and then find out that your part is moving because you didn't place it on the natural part so this is very important so right now I'm just getting my natural part and it looks like I kind of found it so for this you only need three products the first thing that you need is a concealer or a foundation that basically matches your complexion um, I have well I'm using a concealer um, it's by Mary Kay in the color bronze 2 so it's very important. The next item that you need is an angle brush. I am cheap, y'all. Best believe that I am very cheap. So this is just some old, um, not old, but some angle brush that I got from Amazon. So no name, basically. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to basically focus the concealer on where the closure starts. I really want to put the color right here so you, it could look flawless, y'all. So I'm really focusing on where the closure starts. So since I am content for now, at least with covering the start of the closure, just basically take your foundation or concealer product all the way down your part. You want to basically make this the same color so it can re really look natural. Y'all know we can't be out here looking fake, y'all. Yes, Crystal, check it. Make sure you're on point. So I'm basically just, you know, going over what I did just to make sure everything is flawless, you guys. And while you're doing this, you might make a mistake or make your part a little big or make it a little too wide right at the start or before the closure. But it's okay, we'll fix that on the next step. So the last thing that you need is 
an eye pencil. Um, I'm very cheap, like I said before. So this is something just from Walgreens. And basically what I'm doing, I'm just trying to fill in the hair that I left out or that I gelled down. Um, just to, just so the density with the weave and my hair could look the same. And also this is where you can fix up your mistakes. So for example, let's say you make your wide a little big or is, you know, a little bit wider than you want it to be. This is where, you know, you fix it. So just basically just fill in, fill in, um, your leave out basically so everything can look oh, like I said before a flawless honey so I really wanted to bring it close to show you how I fixed the part that I made basically if you make it too wide so just like I'm doing right now just Make it, you know, make it look right. Bring the eye pencil that you're using close to the natural part of the closure. And it looks like I got it. I'm checking myself out. Yep. What you thinking, Crystal? So now this is not a required step, but I'm just doing this in case the wind blows back and, you know, the, the real hair decides to show. So just basically to make sure the, the stuff that I filled in before blends in with my real hair that is kind of covered. So like I said it before, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye. Also, if you took something from this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.